I've always been independent. I'm a dog person. I'm stuck to a leash. I can't go anywhere without this. Tied down by the effects of COVID-19, we first introduced you to Kate Thompson in November. She was an ICU nurse at Akron General until she herself was hospitalized with the virus and pneumonia. Now, although she's back at home, she tells News 5's Emily Hamilton that her life may never get back to normal. Kate Thompson is a registered nurse who's devoted her life to caring for sick people in need. You don't know if they're going to wake up fine in seven days. You don't know if they are going to code, as we call it. But she may never care for another patient again after becoming the patient herself. I'm in limbo right now. I'm coming to terms with the fact that I may never get back to bedside nursing. After a month in the hospital following her COVID-19 diagnosis in early November. I am actually in respiratory failure. Thompson is home now, but she says life is not back to normal and it may never be. We don't know if my lungs will ever come back at this point. She's in respiratory failure due to sustained damage to her lungs on an oxygen tank around the clock. This might be me for the rest of my life. Um, again, we don't know. There's no one else to base experiences off of. COVID is only nine months old. At just 39 years old, Thompson hopes sharing her story will encourage others to take the virus seriously. I'm a 39 year old woman. I just turned 39 in quarantine. I would run the steps at the McKinley, McKinley Monument three times a week this past summer. I go to the gym, I'm healthy, but for some reason, COVID attacked my lungs with a vengeance. And tonight, she's recalling the tough conversations with her family during her hospital stay. My husband and I, my father and I, and um, had end of life conversations. If I end up on a ventilator, how long do I wanna end up on a ventilator? If they start using these terms, you need to start thinking about letting me go. Um, and it's okay, don't second guess yourself, I want this done. Emily Hamilton, News 5.